I hate being sick. I know there's very few people that actually probably enjoy being sick, but I particularly despise it. When I used to work a nine to five, I would kind of pride myself on never taking a sick day. I would sort of just power through and get to the weekend and be sick then. People would ask me like, oh, are you feeling well or what's going on? And my responses were always something along the lines of, you know, I'm just, I'm a little run down or um, the, um, it's probably the weather, might just be my allergies. Or the other one, it's in the rear view. Oh, you know, I was sick, but I'm, I'm getting better. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the mend, it's totally fine. So that all changed when I entered the Capuchin Order for a couple of reasons. One, I had a couple of sicknesses that were bad enough that everybody notices. And two, I live with a brother. So it's really hard to hide sickness from somebody whose room's next to you or whose bathroom that you share. So when I first read the rule, I didn't understand why Francis felt the need to put in the following. Chapter 7, let each one confidently make known his need to the other. When any brother falls sick, the other brothers must serve him as they would wish to be served. What? No, 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 no. I joined the order to help people. I joined the order to live a life of maybe asceticism, to grow closer to God, to be in prayer. I didn't join the order to get helped by other people. That wasn't the deal. So I questioned when I read it, why would Francis even put that there? Like, why, why does he have something along those lines? I mean, he was a very ascetical guy. I don't, there's plenty of sicknesses that go along with it. So why does he put in the fact, well, you have to be taken care of by the brothers? My own personal experience, the truth behind me not liking being sick is that I don't like being weak. I don't like not functioning. I don't like needing to rely on other people. I think that's part of what Francis gets at when he puts it in the rule. This, this radical life that he wants, that he started, that he inspired other brothers to do, one focused on the gospel, would inspire a lot of guys who just kind of want to power through and like, let's do this. Let's, let's go for it. Like, I don't care if I'm sick, if I'm dying on the road, I don't need any help. I'm just going to keep going. That's not what we're looking for here. That's not what Francis was going through. It's right there in the title. We're the order of lesser brothers. Lesser brothers sometimes have to be cared for. It's part of the, uh, the title of lesser brother that I'm not necessarily the biggest, uh, you know, um, I'm not very fond of it. Brothers for Others is definitely one I like. That's a good one. It's, it's catchy and uh, it, it shows that I'm helping other people. But to be a lesser brother means I have to be called to try to accept help when it's needed, especially when I'm sick, especially when I'm not functioning the way that I think I should be functioning. And this goes through for the rest of all Christians, because ultimately any idea that a Christian has of being self-made or unstoppable or never being sick, one, probably doesn't happen because at some point they do fall and they do get sick and they do need help. I know no person that has done all of this on their own. And two, because in the grand scheme of things, I do not hold my existence here. God gave me every good thing that I possibly have. Francis talks about that time and again. Any good thing I can possibly accomplish comes through what God works through me. And that's what we're going for. That's what every Christian should be going for. And even Christ himself would never say that I, you know, Christ came to save men and all that, but he lives in himself in a relationship. He lives within the Father, through the power of the Holy Spirit. The fact that it's a relationship of Trinity in one shows that it's not necessarily just this one being that doesn't need to subsist with others. And we're called in the image of God to emulate that in our way. And the way we do it and the way we try to do it um, through Francis is to be lesser brothers and to accept the help from other people and to accept the help especially from our brothers, especially when we need it.